But I didn't even say that. That's the crazy thing. YouTube, what's going on? So, real quick, you guys got to help me out with something. So, I'm in the middle of filming for Base Nation Academy. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link. The pullout thing will come up up here or up here. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm in the middle of filming courses for the Academy. And I take a break and I'm scrolling through Instagram, right? So, I see this post. I just do a repost. It's a post of Jocko saying, you don't need more strings. You need more practice. I'll put a link of it right here or a picture of it right here on the screen. So, I put that up and I thought it was... I mean, I thought it was funny and true at the same time. So I put it up and then all of a sudden I'm getting these comments, you know, uh, well, why can't you have more than five strings or, um, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that or more than four strings or anything like that. So I didn't think of it like that. I'm thinking of it like, you know, I see a lot of beginners being a teacher for over 10 years. I see a lot of beginners asking what bass should I use? Should I start off with a five? Should I start off with a six? Should I start off with a seven string? Trust me, I get that too. So a seven string bass, six string, five string, doesn't matter. I would say start with the four string first. Start with the most simple first. The most simple bass you po you possibly can get and master that. time with practice you excel on whatever instrument you're trying to play or you're trying to learn so I took it like that so you don't need more strings per se and some people think that okay if I get this five string six string I can do a lot more I'll, I'll become better or it'll be beneficial for me to have this you know this higher amount of strings to be able to play and that's not the case it's just basically saying you don't need more strings you need to practice and to get comfortable with your four string first what started it all get comfortable with that I mean I I can't say you know you don't play anything but a four string because I play five string I play six string for the longest I mean even this I mean I'm, I have a two five strings right here this is my signature bass it's a five string I have One second, <laughs> can't get it out. I have another five string. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, with basses, by the way, if you're interested, the link is in the description. So, five string, five string, and that's just right now. I mean, I'm looking to get a six string pretty soon, so I'm not saying don't ever... Okay, there we go. So I'm not saying don't play a six string, don't play a five string, don't play a seven string. I'm guilty of this. In the beginning, I went from a five, six, seven really, really quick. I don't think I was ready for it. I mean, I was okay, but I don't think I was ready for it. I just wanted to play chords and try to experiment with it. But when I went down to a four string, I went back down to play a four string. It was like, oh man, I'm kind of, you know, lost only because I wasn't learning my fretboard the way that I needed to learn it. You know, with a seven string, you have two extra higher strings than a four string, so you can linearly go down and don't even change positions and go down the fretboard this way, downwards, and play as if you're playing up the fretboard. So that causes you not to know your fretboard as well as you should. So playing a four string, you have no choice but to learn your fretboard a little bit better. So I would say moving to the five string, six string, I mean, five string is not that bad, but six string, you know, with the higher, you know, uh, string, um, I would say hold off on that, especially if you're a beginner, try to conquer the four string first. So that's what the issue was online on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put the link or the tag or whatever it is. It's at Derek underscore Bennett, I think. Uh, yeah, and you know, I got a lot of different com uh, responses. A lot of people understood what I was trying to say, but the bad thing about it was, I guess because Jocko was on the picture and Jocko is known for only playing four string basses, um, and especially a fretless bass as well. So. I guess it was implying that you only need four strings, but that's not what I was saying at all. So I hope you guys understood. <laughs> I hope you guys get the dilemma at the same time. I wanted you to be able to understand if you're learning, stay with four string first, stay with four string. Then you can move up once you get comfortable with it, especially to the lower B if you're looking for that thing or string your bass a little bit differently to E from E to C if you're playing a five string like this. Um, I happen to just tune all of my basses standard. Um, but I have five strings and four strings right now. I don't have any six strings. I used to, like I said, I'll put some links and or some pictures of what I used to play. I used to play six string for years and even seven string. Uh, but that just, that 
you know, that killed my back. But anyway, <laughs> I had a tour with that for like two, was it like a month? I had a tour with it and standing up with that seven string, it was heavy. I mean, I was like 17. I wasn't that, you know, now I'm a pretty big guy, but 17, I was, I was a little guy. So, but anyway, but I had to deal with that. So keep in mind, guys, start with four string. Uh, some links to some nice beginner four strings are down in the description below if you're interested in that. So I just wanted to talk to you guys, <laughs> but I'll probably take a little bit of the blame only because in the picture, Jocko was playing a four string. So it kind of implied that you only need four strings, but the post didn't say that. I mean, that's the crazy thing. You don't need to feel like to become a better bass player, you need more strings than what you already have, especially if you're a beginner. If you haven't conquered and mastered the fretboard on a four string, you don't necessarily need to move up. So what are you guys rocking right now? What bases are you playing? If you guys are beginners, let me know in the comment section. We'd love to see your bases. Like I said before, some beginner bases are linked in the description if you're interested. And the information to the Base Nation Academy. Uh, if you guys are looking for personal feedback from me, uh, there's a video Q&A section where I provide custom video footage for your feedback. You can upload it and show me what you're working with and show me what you're struggling with if you're interested in that kind of thing. I mean, on top of all the other benefits I don't have time to get into right now but it's a three-day free trial check it out for free if you're interested um what else if you don't follow me on instagram check it out at derek bennett under no at underscore hold away at derek underscore bennett if you don't follow me there once you get there hit that follow button and shoot me a message saying you're from youtube we'd love to see you guys there i'll catch you guys in the next one